Welcome everybody to this version of Health Made Simple. I am Donna Woods, the CEO of Photonic Health. And today's guest, I am so excited, hailing all the way from Dubai. So it is early our time and very late their time. So thank you guys for staying up with it. Us, um, this is Larry and Charlie, and the business is called Podega. So welcome. We're so excited to have you guys. Yeah, thank you guys so much for having us. We're really excited to be on. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Yay. So um, like when, when your order came in, so I'm going to just talk about it right away. Like, and I can't remember how long ago it was, but my team was like, we just got a really weird order in. It came from Dubai. Do you think it's a scam or do you think it's real? <laughs> because we have gotten scammed from, you know, some other countries. And uh, I was like, you know, we looked at everything and we're like, yep, it's it's legitimate. And here you are. Here yeah. you are. Um, and so let's start with Podega, your company. Let's start with what do you guys like what um how did you get into business <laughs> that's a great question let, i'll let you take that one yeah so um we have a little frenchie well she's not little anymore she's eight years old now um but when she was little uh when she was about one year old she um started like she had some really weird health issues where she kept throwing up all the time um, after dinner and we were feeding like premium kibble, right? <laughs> so right, right. We were, um, switching like different foods, nothing was helping. We went to the vet. The vet was like, you're feeding great food. There's nothing wrong with her. I don't know why she's having these issues. And it wasn't just the throwing up. It was also like recurring hot spots and what else? Um, like some warts papilloma virus things like that um so things that displayed that she had a weakened immune yeah. system pretty much yeah and, and just like awesome. a week yeah which of course as a first-time pet parent like we weren't aware of what that meant and we thought we were relying on the vets to like help us figure out what was wrong so right. um at the same time, we had a friend who was actually feeding raw and she was telling us like, you guys should try this out. And we also had another friend who was a vet. This is like, so such a long story, but I'll try and tell it short. But um, we also had a vet friend who was telling us don't feed raw. It's the absolute right. worst oh, you can do ever. Yeah. It's so she was a vet student at the time. So um yeah, it, it came to a point where like in one week, our dog was just throwing up like five nights in a row. And we were like, OK, no, this is it. Like we have to make a major change. And we switched to raw and literally we never looked back. Like oh, it, awesome. it just it, her health switched overnight. She, there was no more throwing up. There was like all of these health issues that she had, like these recurring hot spots and all of that went away. Her breathing got better. Oh yeah, actually as well. And the breathing is a big thing in Dubai because with the heat, like it's very humid over here. So her breathing is obviously something that we always want to improve. So we, we noticed a really big change with that. And that really just started our journey of thinking, hold on a second. All the vets were telling us not to switch to raw. We were supposed to be feeding a premium kibble. And all of a sudden, like her health just changed so dramatically when we did switch to raw. So we were like, why is nobody talking about this? Why is why are the vets not for feeding raw? And it just really like got us started on researching uh -huh. everything there is about raw feeding and then we also came into supplements and that just started a whole yeah. journey of a whole that. thing right it's uh, well, so so your first dog your first dog you start out with a frenchie probably one of the most challenging breeds from a health perspective like yeah. one of the most challenging breeds ever yeah um and 
and you're probably in a in one of the most challenging environments to have a Frenchie yeah. in. I'm going to call it a brachiocephalic dog, but really that and any dogs. Um, we live in Florida, so we live in a very humid environment. It's very warm here. Um, we mm. get the added benefit of having all these gorgeous uh, trees and everything around us. So we get the added benefit of lots of um, mycotoxins floating mm. around in the air. And um, so it it's not the same as what it was 30 years ago, even from a from from caring for a dog perspective mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's um you know as you were telling your story it sort of reminded me of how we got into um horses and red light and and our journey it was sort of like my very first horse was we did all you know four month old horse um knew nothing about horses and mm -hmm. right away like right off the bat, we started having problems and it took us to these people and it changed our entire life, including yeah. a business, including manifesting a business. So mm -hmm. it's so when you guys are telling your story, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just so parallel, but yours just happens to be a Frenchie and mine just happened to be a, you know, a thousand pound horse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and it really changed like not only her life like but also our life because we have a business that she inspired but also our health has completely changed which i'm sure a lot of your listeners are familiar with as well like when you know when you do better for your pets you also have to do better for yourself as well <laughs> correct correct what um what has been the biggest um challenge you've had to overcome Ooh, with business. our dog or our business or uh, with your dog let's start okay. with your dog yeah the biggest challenge well I think I mean probably when she was one and she had all of these health concerns and we were trying to you know kind of go against what uh, a conventional professional veterinarian was saying I think that was the biggest challenge for us because okay where I guess by human nature, we're kind of designed to listen to professionals, right? People that went to school and spent all this time on education and then to Absolutely. go away from that and take advice from a friend who hasn't gone to school, I think right. was one of the biggest challenges. But at um, the same time, we are questioners. So we always do our own research as yeah. well. So that was, I think, very pivotal for us then. And But, you know, ever since we made that change and we switched to raw when she was young and we incorporated functional supplements at a very young age. So we know um, and through our journey, we, we've learned all of or we made ourselves familiar with all of the typical health problems that French Bulldogs have. So, for example, joint problems, right, IVDD. And we took a really preventative approach to that. Uh, yeah. Even things like cancer, like we heavily, really focus on prevention. And that's what we also help our customers with and, and people who come for help to us we always try and take a preventative approach and for that reason also we ha really haven't had any health problems with our friendship for the last seven years so yeah. had not that much to overcome in the last seven years until unfortunately she did have an IVDD injury uh just it's now like eight months ago already I think can you can you just explain to people IVDD yeah so ibdd um it's uh it's basically an I, I, it's basically an injury along the spine okay. which can cause neurological concerns as well as like um uh paralyzation and there's different stages of this so you could you can it can just be an injury all the way up to a dog being completely paralyzed yeah, and we were very lucky uh, because our dog, she did have a herniated disc. And personally, I believe, so she she made a very loud noise, like a scream. We've never heard this before. And then she couldn't 
walk because it was painful for her, but not because she was paralyzed. So um, it turned out to be a herniated disc that was non-surgical. So we were very lucky because a lot of French Bulldogs, they end up having to have like surgery after surgery to get this concern fixed. So, and I personally believe that everything we've done the last six years between when she was one and when she was seven, when she had this injury has for sure um, contributed to the fact that this was non-surgical. I'm a hundred percent sure of that. And uh, then even the way that we did approach this concern, the IVDD injury, we did it the 100% natural way. So we're very lucky because we have a vet who we trust a lot. Uh, she's not holistic. There's no holistic vets here, unfortunately, but she understands what we do at Podega and she trusts us and we trust her. So we know that like, we're going to come to her and we're going to say, look, we want to take care of this naturally. Is it possible or not? And right. if it was impossible, she would tell us and then we can have a look at our our options. But by the time that we saw we we've done like when when our dog had the injury. Yeah, we've given her all the homeopathic remedies that we had at home, all the herbs, everything that we have at home, basically that we know can help with the inflammation and things like that. And then by the time we went to the vet, she was already walking again. So nice. she, I was like, wow, I, like, I'm actually very surprised how well she's doing right now. Right. So um, yeah, we've, we've done a whole YouTube video for anyone who's interested in learning more about the injury and how we helped our dog heal naturally from it. Yes. Um, and well, I'm going to just keep going because it sort of segues into how did you find Photonic Health? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I can't not oh, ask oh. that question. <laughs> of course. So after, um, after the injury happened, we knew like, okay, we need to basically throw everything at um, supporting this injury. So everything we possibly think of and and uh, we were already aware of red light therapy we just wasn't sure about like which device we should be going with because there's so many different devices they range from like really really cheap to really really expensive right right and so so for us we um we tapped into our um, friends and within the industry and Photonic Health was the number one recommended uh, red light therapy device that we should be using. So it was just like, okay, um, the most trusted people recommended um, Photonic Health. And that's um, after we did our research, we purchased. Yeah. And, and, was... and you guys shipped really fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. To, for prevention yeah now yeah yeah um and so how did it did it did it help her for sure yeah definitely yeah. So, so um i mean it's always so hard when you're doing natural things to know exactly what does what but in because, my opinion hold on because we take such a uh multifaceted yeah. approach we don't just do one thing and Correct. see Correct. the work so we've done a lot of different things homeopathy herbs red light therapy physiotherapy yeah so many things. yeah, um, yeah. and and i think that's pretty standard like if you have this holistic mindset you're never you're if, if you i'm always sort of skeptical of anybody that says this is the only thing that I've done, exactly. or this is the only thing that I've used. Um, yeah. and especially with IVDD, intervertebral disc disease, because it is such an extreme and painful condition that when that happens, you're going to throw the, I would throw the kitchen sink at it. Like yeah. when your animal is sick and it's that severe of an injury, you're going to, you're going to use all the resources that you have yeah exactly so and then the red light therapy it was just a really really great because we also did physiotherapy and, uh -huh. um, in tandem with the red light therapy and what was really great about it because we did the red light therapy every single day so she was really getting a targeted like focus on helping to reduce the inflammation within 
her body and along her joints and spine. So right. Right. I, I I believe I I know that it definitely helped a lot. Yeah. Awesome. And I also actually love that. So we got the essential back pad uh -huh. and I know that it actually covers the entire body because the French bulldog is small to medium dog, right? So right. it covers her entire uh, body. So it's not like it's so easy to use. It makes yeah. it so easy. So sure. yeah. Yeah, Ab absolutely. Absolutely. And for those people that don't have, um, French bulldogs or dogs that have screw tails, that's what they're called. Um, French bulldogs and pugs and, you know, there's other breeds out there where the dog's tail is naturally it. It's not cropped, you know, it's not mechanically cropped. And what happens is these dogs are way more susceptible to it because it's like a little pigtail at the end where that starts to twist like you know we've got two french bulldogs and um we're always working on their fascia and we're always working on like we always do a, a front fascia release rear fascia release and we always illuminate their little screw tail because there's so much tension around that so if you think of you know if this pen were like an articulating spine and the end of it is always wanting to twist you know, mm -hmm. there's always going to be more susceptibility to having that type of injury. Um, mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing that I love about you guys is you recognize straight away prevention is going to be your best, best medicine. And and by applying the nutrition and the supp extra supplementation that you guys have is keeping those tendons and ligaments and all of that tissue super healthy and super strong so that when she did have this situation, she was able to, it wasn't as life-threatening as it could have been because there's a yeah. lot of people that have to face that. So yeah. I, I absolutely love that. Um, yeah. And you guys were so on top of it. If you could provide our audience like with two to three tips that they could implement at home, um, what would it be and how would it impact them or their dogs? Yes, that's a great question. So um, the very first thing that I think I would recommend for anyone is to just uh, start exercising dogs not just on the leash and on pavement, but also like in nature, off leash, if that's possible, on the sand, on the dirt, on the grass, because there's just so many dogs who don't get like they they only get on leash walks and on pavement. So I right. think that's pretty important and it's something free we can do with our dogs. And it's so I think exercise is so under what's the word? It's like underrated. Yes, yeah. underrated. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then the th second thing. I mean, if if you're not feeding a fresh food diet, I think that is probably um, one of the top things I would recommend just because you're, you're feeding a diet that is not usually pro-inflammatory, like compared to the ultra processed food diet, which is more pro-inflammatory, which adds to the inflammation in the body and can cause other health concerns as well. And then you can supplement on top of that. I would definitely recommend um, uh, something like pre and probiotics. Yeah. But before we go into the supplement part, actually, if you if someone's listening and um, if you can't actually feed a hundred percent raw diet, you can't uh, for whatever reason. Uh, it's also very important to know that adding as much fresh food or raw food as possible to the bowl already makes a huge difference. So uh, feeding like 50% raw, 50% kibble, or even um, less raw, if that's, if that's what you can do, like, how, however much raw food you can feed as possible is really amazing and will do so much already. And then as Larry said, like adding um, functional supplements is always amazing. So we recommend to our customers for a preventative approach, 
we always say one pre and probiotic, one liver and kidney support, and one superfood antioxidant. Um, I that would thing. Yeah, that, yeah. that that. Um, I've done lots of these interviews and I've talked to lots of nutritionists and it, it can be a very slippery slope really fast on yeah. what, what, what are we supposed to be get, you know, and then you sort of get lost and then a lot of people get overwhelmed um, and then they don't do anything because they don't know which way to turn. Um, yeah. So I love how succinct you guys are on one pre pro one liver support and man liver support like if you're going to support any organ the liver is the most important one because it impacts everything else yeah. and then yeah. the, and the super antioxidants um yes. i anti and antioxidants are so incredibly important um mm -hmm. and especially for dogs because they you know they don't sweat like humans do and, you yeah. know, we can eliminate our toxins through our skin and through our sweat and dogs can't do that. Mm -hmm. So that's super important. Um, I love that. And, and also you guys aren't so like only raw because there's people that are like only raw, only cooked, only kibble, blah, 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 blah. And just do, do something is better than nothing. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And I think like when we opened our store, that was extremely important to us because we know, even though that we believe that the the raw food diet is an amazing diet, but we know a lot of people will not feed it for many different reasons, right? right. They're scared of it or it's too expensive or, you know, like there's so many reasons why somebody won't feed this. So we try to evaluate, number one, what is kibble? What, yeah. what are the common problems with kibble and how can we kind of offset what's happening within the body when you're feeding such a diet or when you're using conventional flea and tick treatments or when you're doing all of the things that can harm the body, how can we try our best to offset the damage yeah. or simply offer a completely natural alternative to it? Yeah. So um, a lot of our customers actually do feed kibble uh, as well raw so we try to have something for everyone yeah. yeah we we don't offer dry food we don't offer offer any kibble in our store but we offer pasture raised raw food which yeah and then we we offer like a whole extensive range of synthetic free supplements which is actually very important when you're looking for supplements there's so many supplements on the market for pets that are just not great yeah like fill, they, with fillers yeah. synthetics and just right. ingredients that really aren't yeah. doing anything and if your dog has an injury then and you're feeding something you think is helping but it's meanwhile the bioavailability is so low that it's not really doing much yeah so so all of the supplements in our store we make sure to really research every single ingredient and every product goes through a vetting process in our store. So every single product is synthetic free. Nice. I love that. I love that. Um, if people wanted to get a hold of you, how could they get a hold of you? Yeah, I mean, they can uh, reach out to us through our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, YouTube all under Podega. So yeah, if Podega. you just, yeah, Podega find us there and awesome. there will be an email link somewhere or a message button. And are, you guys, and are you guys available for consultations? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> and they can also email us at bark at podega.com. And we have some really exciting news because. <laughs> yeah, this is actually the first place we're saying it yes. publicly. <laughs> um, we are going to be launching our store in the United States as well. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank I you. At podega.us. Yeah. So that's coming. That's coming in a couple of weeks. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it was so great to have you guys on. And um, you guys, um, for all of my uh watchers and listeners out there, please go check these people out. They're absolutely amazing. 
Um, they know what they're talking about. They're living and breathing this stuff. They're seeing the changes. They're seeing the results. And if you've got a dog that you're really struggling with the health wise, or you don't want to struggle with health problems and you really want to catch it from the get go, please reach out to these folks. They're absolutely incredible. And, um, thank you guys for being on. I absolutely loved it. It was awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Really appreciate it so much. Yeah, thank you. This was so awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for watching this edition of Photonic Health Presents Health Made Simple. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications for all new Photonic Health videos.